It was way back then that this defense started, from my understanding. When he was a, I think a freshman or sophomore in high school, was the first time that Easton, which they grew up in Easton, Missouri, even had a boys basketball team. And they got beat something like 64 to 14. And he, he always said, I was in the back of a flatbed truck going back to Easton, and, I, and he said, there's gotta be a better way to play this game. Defense has been the foundation of, of my career. Uh, it's the only reason I was able to play uh, college basketball at the level I did. You know, you've got to have a team that can put the ball in the hole, but you can stay in games if you play good defense. He would tell me as well as other uh, kids, you play offense all your life. Ever since you were this little, you used to shoot the ball. He said, you know how to do that, and uh, I'm going to teach you how to play defense. And it's hard work, and it was. His whole philosophy was, we're going to make them play the way we play and get them out of their comfort zone. The thing about defense is it shows what type of team you have uh, because it takes five guys working together to stop the other team. Offensively, a guy can be really talented and find a way to score on his own, uh, but to be really good defensively, uh, you got to have certain guys buy into their role. He had defensive rules. and. If you followed those defensive rules as a player, as slow as I was, you could be successful defensively. Uh, we never got tired during the game. We just did not get tired. And because it's like Arlen said, a 40 minute game compared to a three hour practice, well, that was a, that was a cakewalk. And that's the way we started practice every day, but running those steps. How he came up with those rules, I, know I, have, I don't have any idea. And they are still good today. You guys have to be good and be able to defend the ball, but you got to be able to rotate and protect the basket and dive on a loose ball and take a charge and, and all those things that go into sacrificing uh, some, some of yourself for the greater good of the team. Those teams that, that he had, it changed basketball. Henry didn't have anybody to model himself off of. He had to create it himself. And so much of what we see in basketball, he really was the creator of those things. Dad never did talk too much about those two championships, but uh, I know he was very proud of them.